I'm a little blue blob with the power to shapeshift. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kid and welcome to Shape Shifting. Yeah, I'm this blob guy and I can shift into different types of objects to basically get past different obstacles. And uh, I guess uh, a human is much better at navigating a staircase than a car. Let's test that. Yeah, okay, I get it. Um, this seems really cool. And uh, obviously we're racing against other blobs and I am the greatest of them all. That's a helicopter. I'm, I'm about to unlock the power to become a helicopter, which seems insanely awesome. And then we can also upgrade each of our individual morphs. Man, okay, there's a lot going on here. What? What? I have boat powers. Oh my gosh. And uh, I'm gonna need to become a boat to get across the water. That's awesome. Okay, this is very cool. We're in first place, which is awesome. Jump. Yeet. Okay, that wasn't as impressive as I was hoping it would be, but it was still pretty good. Up the stairs. You got this, bud. I am absolutely destroying the other blobs, which feels very nice. I want to become a helicopter. Unlock. Wait, what does the helicopter do? Does it just literally fly? But it's slower than the car. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. Oh, I need to be a helicopter. Yeah, all right. We're getting different obstacles in our way. Wait, what? I got a helicopter over the train? Yeah, okay. Can I can I turn back into a car? Okay, the car is definitely the fastest way to travel over just flat ground. Oh, that was terrible. But the helicopter, very convenient. This is a straight up hang glider? Hang glider doesn't seem as awesome as a helicopter, but we're gonna have to put that theory to the test. All right, I'll get it. Okay, now I have the power to hang glide. Oh my gosh, we're gonna jump off of this and then turn into a hang glider? That is insanely awesome. Hello, um, yellow guy. He's kind of uh, scaring me because he was ahead of me, which is the first time we've seen the other blobs actually put up a fight. Maybe I should jump further and then become the hang glider? Or maybe I should become a hang glider sooner? I don't really know, honestly. Like, I'm not very good at that section. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get the we'll get the the fine tuning done. That's just a drill. Okay, that seems very awesome. I want to become a drill. What am I? I'm just gonna like plow through walls of dirt. Anyways, uh, we did just earn enough money to finally upgrade the speed of one of our morphs. I don't know which one to upgrade though. I feel like I use the car probably more than any of the other ones. So you know what? Let's give ourselves 10% speed in a car, as a car, not just in a car. And now I'm gonna become a giant drill. Oh my gosh, destroy the rocks. Look at that dude, what a dummy, he became a car. What a fool, smash it. Okay, I guess I'll be a drill. Okay, uh, so I need to use, the Nope, gotta fly over that. You can't drill through a shipping container. Duh, everybody knows that, of course. Fly over the train. I probably should become the helicopter a little bit quicker. Can I become a car? Okay, the, the helicopter is extremely slow, but obviously it's important because it flies. As you probably know, cars don't, or do they? Okay, so I'm going from unlocking massive earth sundering drills to a bike. All right, we've unlocked the most powerful of all vehicles, a bike. Um, but it is important because the other vehicles that we have access to, as you can probably tell, uh, were too big to go over logs. Although, I mean, a helicopter could get over the logs, but it would probably do it much slower than just a, a simple bike. Sometimes the more simple solution is the more elegant solution. And there you go, becoming a bike. Take my car all the way to the end. Boom, he's done it. And now we've unlocked a snowmobile? I did not realize that this world that we're living in as blob transforming guys was at risk of getting snow. There is definitely snow in this world and uh, it's, it's very convenient that I've just unlocked the power to become a snowmobile. All right, I like this. 
bike to hang glider is a very cool concept. I love how it's taking all of the morphs that we've collected up to this point and mixing them all together into like full levels. It's, it's actually pretty cool. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, some of these obstacles I've, I've not handled well, obviously. Because like I was hang gliding and I could have just stayed a hang glider and flown over some of those obstacles. My bad. And that appears to be a canoe which I'm pretty sure at the outset of this, we had access to a, a speedboat. So I'm not sure where the canoe comes into play here. I feel like a speedboat would pretty much always be better, but you never know. Also, um, I have like 4,000 coins that I have not spent. I feel like the helicopter could really use an upgrade and the person, just the human form. All right, go human, <laughs> climb those stairs followed by slightly faster stairs. All right, yellow guy's actually putting up a pretty good fight here, um, but he's not quick enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure bike is better for the, the straightaways, and then I gotta switch to the human, obviously, just for the stairs and escalators. And now I get a canoe. All right, it's time to put our canoe to the ultimate test. <laughs> it's just... I don't really understand why that particular body of water is best handled by a canoe and not a speedboat. Maybe it's the lily pads? We don't want to upset the ecosystem. Okay, that's gonna be my, my excuse for why a canoe is better in that situation than a boat that has a propeller on the back of it. That's what I'm going with. We don't want to disturb the frogs. I can't believe I just became a canoe in the middle of the street, which in hindsight is a very weird sentence to say. Okay, this thing looks pretty sick. It's like a dune buggy, next level. In the meantime, we got drilling to do. Take out these boxes. Okay, this is always the tricky part. We gotta figure out the timing on the hang glider. That was a beautiful execution, I feel like. I think the timing is basically right as we hit the, um, the top of the jump, we become a hang glider. Do it, do it again. Yeah, you got it. That was a beautiful execution. I will say, green guy was was coming up pretty fast on us. I, I was getting a little nervous. I'm still destroying them, but I think they're starting to understand their powers a little bit better. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I see. So now we have like desert terrain for our dune buggy. That's actually awesome. I'm loving this. I wish though that there was like like a challenge level or something that basically gave you every single morph that you've unlocked on one level. That would be insane. Having to switch between like a helicopter and then a drill and then a dune buggy and then a bicycle. I mean, you guys get the point. Oh, I need to be a dune buggy. Oh, what? Okay, I just did a backflip because I can. Okay, a motorcycle is just objectively better than a bicycle, right? It's always gonna be faster. We'll, we'll get around to, to unlocking that in the next level. For now, kinda like the idea of having a hang glider go faster. I feel like the hang glider is the fastest morph that we have. Let's make it even faster. Car me, bike me. See, like those obstacles, the, the little skinny logs, I feel like I could take a motorcycle over that and do it faster than the bike can. So is the motorcycle just gonna replace the bike? It kind of makes me feel bad about the bike. But like logically, I feel like if you have a skinny pathway that can only be navigated by a bike or a motorcycle, you're gonna take the motorcycle. Especially if you're in a race. All right, Mr. Motorcycle, let's see what you're about. We're gonna have to climb some escalators first. Oh yeah, here you go. The, okay, honestly, it felt the same. <laughs> it felt like it was the same speed as the bicycle, which uh, is kind of sad for the, the motorcycle. I feel like the motorcycle should have done a better job. Now I want to go back to a level where we only had access to the bicycle and, and see if like the bike is the same. That's a train. We're going to become a train. Okay. I'm kind of loving this. Just figuring out and unlocking the weird things that we can become like a snowmobile. 
Okay, we're back to the bicycle. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure, I, I might even go as far to say that the, uh, the bicycle is faster than the motorcycle, but maybe that's in my head. I don't know. Either way, I'm a little disappointed with the motorcycle, I'm not gonna lie. And then I just crashed into a box and accepted my fate, and I'm doing a terrible job of actually, like, performing through this race. Yet, I'm still ahead of my competitors. I... How are they so bad? This was definitely the hardest level that we've played up to this point. Mostly because you have to switch between the snowmobile and the drill while you're in the snow. That makes it tricky, but I still absolutely destroyed the competition. I'm not gonna say I'm really good at morphing. I'm just gonna say they're really bad. I kind of want to lose on purpose. <laughs> what what happens? Like, what if I become a train? I get stuck on the staircase. I let red guy, yellow guy, green guy, even green guy. Okay, they, they have passed me up. I've accepted my fate as the worst blob. Oh, look, trains are so good for crossing lakes. Everybody knows that. I, okay, are you guys okay? Like, really? You're really that bad. I'm giving you so much of an opportunity to pass me up here. I'm, look, boat on the train tracks. Get them, boys! It's actually harder to get last place than it is to get first. Who would have thought? Are you guys gonna beat me? Yellow made it. Red made it. Green made it. Please just say victory at the end. <laughs> okay. I was really hoping the game would be like, ah, we don't care. You finish the level, you're great. No, no, it, it definitely made me fail. Fair enough. Now we know what happens when we are the worst morpher ever. But legitimately, it is harder to lose than it is to win. They're not the brightest uh, morph blob ball dudes. Just saying. We didn't talk about the train though. The train is super cool. You can run across the train tracks as the just regular human, which is obviously way slower than the train. But I like that. I like that there are choices, even though the choices are very obvious, unless you're the other guys. Apparently it's not very obvious for them. All right, sweet. We're just unlocking a supercar, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari. I don't know, it's green and it's probably going to be extremely fast. And is it just gonna replace my, my, my dinky car? My poor little normal car? Wait, how are those guys staying up in the air so long? Hold up! Are there actually controls that I'm missing to do the, the hang gliding more effectively? <laughs> this guy is just hang gliding on the road. Why? That guy just became a hang glider as soon as he hit the water! You have the power to become a canoe! What is wrong with you people? They know something about hang gliding that I don't. Maybe there's a way to control it. I haven't actually tried. Like, can... Can I... I can't. I don't... Maybe if I hold on the screen? I don't know. I tried, like, swiping up and down to, to control my the lift of my hang glide. Those dudes were clearly going further and higher than I was. They're using hacks. And yet they're still losing really bad. All right, let's see what the supercar is all about. Can I go across the bridge? No. <laughs> Wait, the other guys don't have supercars like me. Okay, that seems a little unfair, <laughs> but also <laughs> tough luck, I guess. You should have watched the 20 second ad to unlock the supercar, but you chose not to. And now you're going to get destroyed by my amazing morphing abilities, which is basically the entire story of this game. I like this supercar a lot. It's extremely fast. As it should be. As it should be. 